Hey! Blessings and peace in Jesus. Praise God. Um, I am doing something a little unconventional. Uh, I am uh, doing a little broadcast here uh, via Google Hangouts. I missed uh, Saturday due to family obligations uh, for our live prayer. So I thought, I just have this burden, I want to pray anyhow. <laughs> Holidays are here. Um, so I just wanted to give this a try simply because it will record straight to my YouTube channel. I won't have any extra in-between stuff. And um, I just wanted to try it out. So what the hey. So this is uh, Freedom One, HearingGod.TV. And uh, this is just something uh, God put on my heart uh, to just kind of lead a little prayer session. And whoever joins in, joins in. Uh, uh, time fellowship. So uh, we just uh, come to you, Lord Jesus, and we thank you and we praise you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. No matter what season you were born, we celebrate you every day. Thank you, Lord. We just honor you, Jesus. We just submit ourselves to you during this time, Lord. And we just ask that uh, the prayers of your righteous be heard, and we know that they are. Thank you for that uh, confidence. So thank you and praise you, Jesus. And we just ask that you would guide this time that you would uh, help me to focus and, and to press in and hear your voice. Thank you, Jesus. In your name we pray, Jesus. Amen. All right. So, let's see here. I do have some praise reports. Um, and it's funny because whether it's prayer requests or praise reports, it seems like here lately I'll get a few during the week for like the same thing. So it's like, ugh, is that just coincidence or is God moving and doing things? It's, it's pretty interesting. So um, this past segment of time, <laughs> people have been testifying of freedom from trauma and bad past experiences. I'm getting testimonies of, praise God, I'm free. Um, so thank you, Jesus. Um, I do have a video on YouTube on the spiritual house cleaning series talking about uh, you know the wounding of the soul. Um, I can't remember the exact name of it, but uh, if you go through and you look, um, you'll find it. Um, but it's yeah, it deals with the wounded soul and and things that trauma brings. Um, so that is an awesome testimony. And um, Isaiah 40, um, if you've been on the, uh, the forum, uh, she's on there. She said that she went to the Dollar Tree uh, and got 46 Bibles. Okay, Dollar Tree, you know how much that costs. She got 46 Bibles. Awesome. And so what her little, um, you know, Christmas time ministry, because, you know, this, she's, she did this like a week or so ago. Um, so she was going to print out um, a love letter from the Father, uh, put inside of it, and she was going to go and pass those Bibles out. So what an awesome idea. Praise God. That is such an awesome thing to do. Um, uh, you know, and, and something, you know, I was telling her, something I think about, um, you know, there, there are so many ministries that we could be doing. Um, imagine if you were in a pivotal point of town, if you've ever, um, you know, because I have a, an old iPhone that I just use for Wi-Fi purposes. I don't have it, like, hooked into you know, phone service, but, um, you know, sometimes I, I have that out and I'm doing stuff on it, but then I'll notice, you know, where Wi-Fi will pick up, 
Well, you know how um, Wi-Fi, uh, you have to name your network or whatever? What if, what if you offered free Wi-Fi to people uh, as part of your tithe to God, and for your network name, do something creative about receiving Jesus or something about Jesus? So that when people, uh, you know, get that, it's like it calls them to think of Jesus or to, you know, it, they can be thankful for Jesus that you're providing Wi-Fi, you know. <laughs> so, you know, that's just something little, a little simple thing I thought of. But, yeah, you know, it's really awesome. Um, uh, the whole thing about getting the Bibles and passing those out is an awesome idea. And really, you know, a dollar a Bible can't beat that. So I'm sure it's a good version. <laughs> so that's an awesome testimony. Let me read what else I got here. Um, okay. Um, here's a person from YouTube. We'll call them Real, real Girl a real gal. Um, the Lord has been drawing drawing this one back to the Lord. Um, and and they have a desire. They don't want any dirt in their house where, where the Holy Spirit is. They want to be pure and clean. Um, they're wanting they're, they have a desire to speak in tongues. Um, they're reading the Bible daily. Um, when they watched my video, um, I believe it was uh, one of my videos where I, I encourage and mentor people on speaking in tongues. Um, they said uh, when they closed their eyes, they could feel the Holy Spirit, and they just have this heightened expectation that that gift of uh, speaking in tongues is coming very soon. So they were just asking for a prayer in agreement uh, that they that they get it. Um, oh, I don't think this is a gal either. I think this is a guy. I, you know how I shorten YouTube names? Well, I shorten that funny. So anyhow, I think it's a it's a gentleman. <laughs> so uh, they would like the gift of tongues, and I would just like to encourage anybody out there that is desiring the gift of tongues. Or um, because another thing that the Lord is doing a lot in this hour is drawing people. Um, a lot of backsliders, He's drawing you back, back into His house. Um, as the age is ending, He's calling uh, His children out, and you guys are responding. You're you're desiring more of God and and. Uh, seeking holiness and, and just desiring everything that he has for you. And it's totally in line with scriptures because what happens in the last days, we do greater works than even the things that Jesus did. Isn't that exciting? How do we get there in relationship and drawing closer to God? So you're right on target, you out there that are hungry and, and thirsty for the Lord. So um, indeed, we do pray for this one that does desire, that earnestly desires a greater gift. A greater gift is any gift you do not have yet. So praise God. Um, and we'll agree for that. And also for anyone out there that um, desires, um, you know, to go further as well. Just join in in this prayer. So, Lord God, we thank you. We thank you as you call your children, Lord Jesus, for open hands, open hearts. Thank you, Jesus, that the things of this world, the cares of this world, fall away in comparison to all you are and the promises you have in your truth. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are indeed fanning that fire, fanning up that flame within each individual. who so desires to walk hand in hand with you, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you indeed do give gifts to men. 
Brome Manutore Wakena Bulabara Tokanata Kamaraka. We indeed do reach our hands out and we say more, Jesus. More. We receive all that you have for us. We thank and praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I just ask that you would impart your uh, your wonderful giftings upon each of those that are hungry and seeking. I thank you, Lord, that they receive good things and not bad things. For him that asks and seeks and knocks shall receive. Thank you, Lord God, that your promises are ever true, that your word is ever faithful. And I thank you, Lord Jesus, and I just agree with all of these. Lord Jesus, we receive all that you have for us, Jesus. We receive more. We receive greater presence, deeper understanding, Lord Jesus, in your word. Thank you, Lord God, that you are a teacher. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, whom we invite to dwell with us. Thank you, great comforter. Teach us your deep truths, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I pray for, for greater spiritual vision for each of us out there who so hunger and desire it, Lord God. For dreams in the night watch and visions in the day, for open ears, for open spiritual eyes, that all our senses may be in tune with you. I pray this in your name, Jesus. Amen. All right. And speaking of dreams, um, I had a very interesting dream. It was it was so neat. Um. And it involved a, a woman, actually, that had Crohn's disease. Um, these are kind of things that I realized, you know, in the dream and when I woke up. It was just all kind of downloaded to me. Um, and I had to look up what Crohn's disease was. Um, it's a disease in which it causes, it causes inflammation in the lining of your digestive tract. So um, something that can be caused by diet, dietary choices, stress is also um, something that causes it, heredity, and a malfunctioning immune system. Um, so let's kind of dissect um, things about the symptoms um, because there's always a spiritual root to things. Um, Obviously, choices in diet, you know, like if, I, I don't know what would be a good example, but let's just say you eat, you eat a candy bar every single day, or if you eat, you eat a Big Mac every single day, I don't know, you've probably seen movies about, about that. Some things are just not healthy, and you can, by your lifestyle choices, you can get yourself into problems. Because um, the whole everything in moderation is really good making sense kind of thing. You know, eating things in season, you know, not gorging yourself and uh, whatever. That stuff makes sense. But what is, what is stress? Um, you know, and this is stuff, I didn't look at this spiritually. I looked at this as purely medical stuff that I looked up. And they say that stress can cause, can bring this disease on. Um, I guess we would say, you know, we have stress when? When we're not in God. Um, when we're not trusting Him, we don't have our faith in Him. Um, you know, <laughs> that's kind of a pointer there. Another thing that was mentioned is heredity. Um, so we know that the sins of the forefather can come down, you know, three or four generations. Um, so that can be something there too. If you are one that suffers from Crohn's disease, um, do you have other people in your family line that also kind of have this? Um, you know, take a look at that. And I would say that, you know, the whole stress thing, not trusting in God, um, 
uh, trying to do things on your own or whatever, that that would be a key route to acts. Um, uh, the other thing was a malfunctioning immune system. So, you know, some kind of disorder there. But um, what 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 happens is, is the immune system works against a person with Crohn's disease. It works an overload against you. It's kind of like, you know, how stress is. You, you get, ah! So it's like with the immune system overloading, it's like it's too much of a good thing. You know, your white blood cells um, get to going. But anyhow, um, back to this dream. Uh, I, I went to visit this woman in her house and I asked her if I could pray um, and she was, oh yes and I began to pray and she talked about having this like a like a lump feeling or some there was something there and when I prayed it went away and she was so excited but the Lord told me that there was another another thing another part two of this disease there was another um, lump or, or whatever it was and in the spirit he told me that um, what it was and it was the reason for that was because she had unforgiveness so we know that unforgiveness in anything um, if, if we are harboring things we will not be healed so um, in the dream I again extended my hand and um, and I asked the woman I said will you forgive and this strange thing happened she just kind of uh, she changed you know she was so happy she got that little bit of her healing but when I asked her about forgiveness um, she she tuned out and then the Lord essentially told me that I cannot do anything else here because of the unforgiveness that the healing could not continue so it was kind of a part two you know the the first part um, you know there was healing but the second part there could not be so it was dependent upon her reaction so that it was cool because it's kind of like a teaching dream but at the same time why do I have this dream um, I really believe that there's someone out there with Crohn's disease that I can pray over and then if it's you <laughs> if you know who you are I want to implore you if you want to be completely healed you need to uh, self-examine and uh, search the heart there to be sure that you are walking in complete forgiveness because if you will do that you will be completely restored so get excited so right now whether you're a man or a woman whoever you are I thank you Jesus I thank you that your your shoulders are so broad that you can take all the stress all the anxiety all of those things that we cannot control and we cannot possibly take on ourselves that you receive that unto yourself and Lord God we on our part submit those things to you right now we give them over to you Jesus with complete confidence we admit that we are not <laughs> we are not gods we are not little gods we cannot do it and so we turn it over to you thank you Jesus that you remove that heavy yoke from our necks I declare healing from Crohn's disease in the mighty name of Jesus I declare that the immune system will no longer fight in battle because all of that has been placed at the footstool of Jesus Christ for judgment. If there be any entanglements from the sins of the forefathers, 
we indeed repent of those things, Lord Jesus, on their behalf. We place them at your footstool, Jesus, and we repent of them. And we receive your forgiveness. We receive all that you are, Jesus. And we declare freedom. Freedom, Jesus. Thank you for your forgiveness, Lord Jesus. For anything that we hold is held, and everything that we let go is let go. So, Lord God, we just submit all those things, then that I took it, those things we cannot control over to you, Lord Jesus. And we know that, that, that it is finished. It is finished in your work at the cross. And it's because of that, we can forgive them for they know not what they do. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. As we forgive, we are forgiven. We receive that in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All right. So... I hope, I hope uh, to hear some testimonies about Crohn's disease and uh, true forgiveness. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, uh, another prayer. Dylan lost his cousin, David. So the whole family is dealing with the grieving process. Um, you know, it's kind of neat because you remember, um, for some of you that have been following the, the live prayer for a while, would remember that... Um, uh, David had, or Dylan had been looking for a job, and we were praying for a job, and then he got one right away. It was so awesome, very exciting. But um, he shared that David was the one that helped him get the job. So, yeah, um, so his cousin. And he shared that David had received the baptism in the Holy Spirit um, a while back, but then hadn't, as of recently, uh, been active in church so anyhow that doesn't that's nothing to be concerned about that's between him and the Lord but anyhow um, we just pray for David's family thank you Lord Jesus for David's life and thank you for the blessing that he was to uh, his cousin Dylan I just ask, Lord Jesus, that your healing balm flow down and over each one of the family members that this uh, season be brought back to the place of joy that it is in celebrating what you did. So thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. And just ask that you would fill up any of those hurt places. And just ask that that uh, that the trauma of this whole this whole event uh, melt away in the mighty name of Jesus give them all eternal perspective so that they can focus on the big picture and not that little sharp bit of pain that they're feeling right now thank you Jesus that your love triumphs praise you Jesus amen Okay, uh, Andy has flu symptoms, and uh, I know there's been, <laughs> it's the time of year, right? <laughs> uh, especially holidays, you got a bunch of bodies in, in, in close, close quarters because of, you know, family and, and whatnot. So we just declare um, healthy immune systems. Lord Jesus, give us wisdom on what we eat and uh, how we take care of ourselves. Help us, Lord, to remember our proper hygiene. Bless us, Lord Jesus, with your strength, Lord God. We speak to our white blood cells. We speak life, life proper functioning. Oh, Lord Jesus, Help us to hear your voice regarding what we need to be doing with a, our diets and, and what things do not need to be done during the holidays. It's just extra. Help us to just cut that away so that we can enjoy what it really is about. It's about you and loving one another. So thank you, Jesus. We just impart your abundant life 
into Andy right now. We speak to um, no fever. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Just clear him out, Lord Jesus. Clear him out. We speak that there be no contagion. That he wake up Christmas morning feeling brand new. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All right. Okay, I have a request from Alfred regarding anxiety anxiety disorder. And Beth also has um, prayer regarding uh, fear and anxiety. Um, and I, I want to share this because um, there's a David that's also been battling um, it's really awesome because the Lord is leading David into deliverance. Um, you know if you're battling things, um, it's different when you're getting assaulted here and there or whatever, but um, if we're not of a spirit of fear. We know that fear is a spirit. It is a stronghold. Um, so re regarding all things in life, um, Jesus, one of his big proponents of his ministry was deliverance and that is for us today too um, he delivered many in the household of God from uh, these demons and it's not just um, people that are completely possessed it's just areas that we struggle with um, we want to be free of these um, so anyhow uh, I just want to share what David wrote kind of like a, a meditation. Um, he's really very prayerfully um, going through these areas in his life. And he, he uh, did agree that uh, he would, he said that I could share this. So um, he writes, the spirit of fear is the spirit beyond doubt. And he talks about his older brother you know is always um, you know is being used of the enemy to try and drag him into fear and all these things so um, it's always speaking negatively and just anti-god comments in general so he said I instantly noticed a change in my spirit man I was struck with fear and I realized that this is what my brother was actually speaking he was speaking fear. And on a side note, that's what we call manifesting. He is manifesting that spirit. Um, that spirit is popping those thoughts in his head, and he's rolling with it. And so that's how we become uh, weapons against each other is, uh, you know, and we might not have a problem with fear or whatever, but, um, you know, it's like a, a negative projection I guess if, if if another person has that weakness and if we can be a conduit um, we'll find ourselves saying things um, you know and, and it's from the other person you know the the enemy is using one to hurt the other kind of thing so um, his brother was speaking fear so he said, I raised up my shield of faith and decided to trust in what God said in his word. I'm tired of being afraid by my older brother, <laughs> afraid of my older brother. I was talking to God and then I started laughing because I realized that I have no reason to be afraid. God's word is true. I have his Holy Spirit. He loves me. And also I remember how he freed me from conspiracy theories um, he went through a time where he would be hopping around um, watching all these different videos on YouTube and then by the end of the day he's like I, I'm, I'm afraid and I feel horrible what, why is that 
and I was explaining to him that that is the spirit that is on those videos and because he kept ingesting it ingesting it then those things had legal right to you know <laughs> drag him down so anyhow um, he realized that when he was doing all that kind of tail chasing he was bound with fear in them and now they look hilarious and silly it's also pretty funny realizing um, that much of my fear is simply being afraid of fear <laughs> It's kind of like, oh no, I'm afraid. What do I do? I'm afraid. Oh no. Now I'm even more afraid. <laughs> so he, he said, fear blinds. Faith opens our eyes to see. So I'm praying that his perfect will will cast out all remaining fear and that he will take away any hurt as well. So let's go back here because I read that off because... Um, of the prayer request we had from Alfred with the anxiety disorder and Beth who also talks about fear and anxiety being a big um, battle as well so Lord Jesus we just thank you that in you is perfect peace because your word is true and you do not lie your word goes forth and it goes forth with a, an ending purpose and it is good and not bad so I thank you Lord Jesus I proclaim faith Faith and trust in you, because your faith and trust in you makes fear and worry and anxiety fall. So, Lord God, we just bind up anxiety and fear right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Those things are no longer, no longer welcome, because we've decided we've had enough of it, right? We had enough of it. We are not a people of fear. We are not a slinking worm. We are the warriors of God. We have heritage of Jesus Christ who defeated everything. And even when we fall in the minorest of areas, when we go back to Jesus, he holds up before God the slate that is clean and God looks on us like he looks on Jesus is that beautiful so what's what confidence what joy what peace we have in the truth of our Lord so Lord God we just ask that you would fill us with your truth that you would cause us to be disciplined disciplined to seek out your deep truths that we may trust in you because faith comes by hearing and hearing comes by what? the word of God so we ingest your truth Brobaka, we speak your truth and we become your truth Lord Jesus thank you Lord Jesus thank you Jesus Thank you, Lord God. I just ask that you would begin to uh, fill up their minds to feed on the opposite in your truth, of faith and trust, even obedience to you, Lord Jesus. And we do agree uh, with the uh, with David's prayers for um, for uh, removing any hurt as well. Oh Jesus.
All right, and, and to that end, um, because I do feel it's important for um, deliverance ministry to grow, um, on the forum, which is hearinggod.proboards.com, I put a new heading of deliverance weapons uh, and topical tools, which is basically identifying the enemy uh, attack and fighting back. And so, <clears throat> if you're identifying fear, um, like with, with what was just shared, um, you know, he shared a testimony of realizing that what, what his brother was speaking out and what it was doing to him, he identified that fear was the enemy. And then he slowly began to, you know, okay, I need to fight back. And he's studying the word. And so... Um, that's what we do. Um, deliverance from it, and then uh, main maintenance, and that's by feeding on the word of truth. Um, and and what's the opposite of fear? You know, focusing on things that are the opposite of what was attacking us through the word of God. So um, that's kind of what I'm doing with the Rambekira uh, with the. Um, that on the uh, on the forum. So uh, if you have an area that you would like to start on the forum uh, and then share, just uh, look look at that one on fear as an example. And if you have other things to add to it, add to it because just like the Bible Promise series, um, you know, all the scriptures on the one topic, and it became a tool, right? For anyone needing to battle that, that's something to feed on. That's kind of what I want for this um, deliverance weapons kind of category is, oh, we have a problem. Oh, we go and look at it, and then we can just feed, feed, feed on what we can use to fight with. So I'm just trying to grow some resources um, to help others. So join in. <laughs> Um, let's see, Eric, Eric shared some things, um, it seems like he is getting uh, attacked by the accuser, uh, condemnation, and this is really tied in with religious spirit, because religious spirits, um, they don't have a problem, you know, with uh, religiosity, okay? That's, remember the, the, the people that killed Jesus? They were religious people. The problem is, is it um, becomes as a bondage, as a, you're not doing it enough, you're not doing it right. Uh, you know, if you fall, um, then, you know, it's beat you down with a billy club kind of thing. So, um, the religious spirits breathe really high expectations, and then they push a really heavy condemnation. You know, and it's also, you know, they boost pride to get you thinking you're okay and whatever. And then when you when you fall, then it's like okay, you know. So, um, Okay, along with, with Eric, um, Chris, um, Chris is kind of um, confessing some of the same sort of things, and that's what I identify as like a religious kind of spirit. He says the connection with Jesus is still not good enough. Okay, when you have a thought like that, um, when you think you're not good enough, what is that? That's an accuser. Okay, an accuser of the brethren, because what does Jesus say about us? Okay, and and then he says, I want to become hungry for Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Um, anything you can suggest that I can do to become hungry and thirsty for Jesus? Um, well, obviously, um, you know, disciplining ourselves, uh, certain obedience in the Word of God. Okay, if if you love someone, you spend time with them, you do thoughtful things that only they 
you know, like special things between you two that you know uh, would really make their day. Um, you know, like my husband knows that if he picks a dandelion, that will mean more to me than if I, um, than if he gives me a big bouquet of flowers. Okay, it's just a special, you know, thoughtful little thing that that means something to me. That only he would know that. Okay, now you know that too. Okay, so so pick me a dandelion, right? <laughs> but anyhow, um, yeah. Uh, and another thing, obedience. You know, I mentioned that. How, you know, for those times where we fall, I mean, how can we lessen that? And that's changing our patterns. Um, we have to have some obedience in our lives. Um, you know, instead of beating ourselves, you know, falling, beating ourselves up, letting this religious spirit, you know, attack us and condemn us, um, we begin to change so that, you know, we'll decide, hey, when I go down this dark alley, something bad always happens. So it's like, okay, let's quit going down the dark alley, okay? <laughs> you know, there are things that we can do. So, you know, different music. Sometimes we have so many little things in so many areas that we don't realize really what the source is. Each little thing is working against us. So, um, kind of taking an inventory and deciding, hmm, after I listen to this, I feel like this. Well, what does the word say? You know, how does doing this line up with the word? Okay, so there are ways that we can can uh, discipline ourselves. So, different music. Um, again, catching the things that end up leading you into temptations. Um, you know, is there a TV show that, oops, they keep having like this suggestive stuff on it, you know? Oh, but I really like it. But, ooh, you know, it keeps opening this door. Well, you know, the hard thing might be be to just uh, try looking around for other good wholesome programs and how can you do that well you just submit it to God you say God I realize that this this thing here is the potential doorway uh, that's leading me down a wrong path leading me astray or whatever and I hate it that I love this thing so I can't do it on my own but would you please send me something else? Send me something good. Send me something wholesome. Change my patterns. Change my life. Invite him in into those areas that are hard. Because if you think you got to do it all yourself, um, you know, you're just working with that religious spirit, right? You know, striving along. Um, you know, a dog will return to its vomit, right? <laughs> So some of our discipline is just making it easier on our sinful selves and just admitting admitting those things that we catch to God, submitting them to him, and then uh, letting him help us out, okay? So for Eric and for Chris, I hope that helps a little. Uh, we'll just pray some things. Um, you know, for self-control, wisdom, against the accuser, against condemnation, against um, falling into pride. And, oh, uh, uh, let's see. All right, well, we'll just start. <laughs> I thank and praise you, Jesus, for Chris and for Eric. For anyone else that has these struggles as well, join in. Receive this for yourself, Lord God. Indeed, we know, Lord Jesus, that we are not you. You know, we, we do not do all things and not sin, but indeed we do sin. But Lord God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, that you hold us in high esteem, that you love us so much, 
that you offer us so much. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, that you uphold us. Therefore, we submit ourselves humbly over to you. We submit ourselves to you, Lord Jesus. And we thank you and we praise you. And we just ask, Lord God, that you would just take control of our atmosphere. We invite your Holy Spirit to guide us and direct us to positive things, to encourage us on our walk. We invite your Holy Spirit in, your Holy Spirit, to be the only convictor of our souls, that when we are doing things that oppose your truth, that we will feel that, uh, that jarring that you give us, that warning, and obey it, that we will not fall into it, and then receive rebuke from the real accuser, but that we will recognize when you are warning us and waking us and shaking us up beforehand. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you permission to do those things. And when that time comes, when you come and you say, okay, I'm just doing my job, that we will submit to you. We come to you in complete obedience, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Indeed, we agree for self-control. Self-control. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for taking thoughts captive unto the obedience of Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. All right. Uh, now I'm going to pray for James. James with organic brain dysfunction that uh, that we declare is going bye bye in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, praise you, Jesus, for my brother. I thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, I thank you, Lord God, as you. I invite you, Lord Jesus, to look inside his brain. To look inside, Lord Jesus. And to give your touch of healing from within. I ask, Lord Jesus, that your hand would touch and heal him. That would re reconnect all those misfiring elements within his brain. I speak wholeness over him and function instead of dysfunction, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For my brother James, give him an awesome holiday. And I thank you for all the restoration and renewal you are doing in his life. All the, the beautiful things that you are doing in his life. Thank you for who he is, and he is a great friend. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Um, Ivan asks, please pray for me about a very serious issue in my life. I need to know God's will. Please pray for a word of knowledge. God bless, and I love your videos. Okay. Um, I will put this on the forum as well. Um, I will just pray real quick. Um, if the Lord gives me something, He gives me something. If not, you know, maybe it'll take time. Whatever. Um, I don't propose to be anything, you know, like prophet lady or anything. But I share what He gives me, and sometimes He gives me stuff, and sometimes He doesn't. Sometimes it's other people, you know. So that's the whole thing of uh, uh, trying to do this community thing on uh, the, the pro boards. So, Robaka, we just ask Lord Jesus for your hand upon Ivan. You know his needs. You know this serious issue. I thank you, Lord Jesus. I pray your will indeed in his life. Or whether he turned to the right or to the left, that your answer is there before him. I just speak your clarity over every 
situation in his life that he know that he know. What is it in the word, Lord Jesus? Guide him to your word of truth, Lord Jesus. Um, that's the thing. The Lord was saying, um, you know it in the word. Um, and so I was asking him, you know, <laughs> where at in the word? And, and uh, whatever your current situation is, whatever it is, look for it mirrored in the Word of God and read and you will you will know <laughs> read what's what is surrounding it and that is your word of knowledge that is your word of truth that is your answer okay and if I get more um, I will be sure to let you know okay Yosef says um, um, you know, he, he's being, being brought into more of a fervor as well. Um, he's admitted that he's, you know, speaks, you know, he's gotten the baptism, spoken in tongues. He hasn't been doing it very much here of lately. Um, and it's, it's been, it, it's been a while and somehow he's been passing through a period of dryness. So, um, he's asking for mentorship, which I would definitely like to encourage um, going on www.hearinggod.proboards.com um, because it's just not me. Um, that's why I created that whole community so that people can begin to flow in their giftings. Um, it's kind of my way of kicking people in the pants to join in uh, because we all have something to share. Uh, I want people and Jesus wants people to trust in him and to see that we don't have to be hanging on people um, we hang on each other to support each other to share because it's how do we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony so this is a place for the word of our testimony and in that um, we are mentoring each other because we're sharing our experiences and we are sharing <laughs> the blood of the Lamb, His Gospel, His Most Holy Gospel. So, um, yes, I, I will just speak regarding this dryness. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you make all things new. I thank you for my brother Yosef, for his heart and his desire to go deeper with you. I thank and agree with you, Jesus, for no lost time, as the enemy would desire to sift this one like wheat, and rail heavy condemnation, but it is not so, for he is running, he is off the bench and running with you, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord Jesus, as you light that flame upon his tongue, and that that dryness be replaced by your rivers of living water, and you flow and flood out of him unto your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. Um, and Alfred has asked a question, and I got probably a few other little things, but I'm going to save them because... I have to leave for the holidays so um, I just want to say thank you and bless you all um, who joined in maybe it's after the fact or whatever like I said I wanted to try this um, Google Hangouts method and see how it would go um, it seems really laggy I'm sure it's recording pretty wacky but want to try it um, no harm in that uh, and I also wanted to definitely um, get some prayers in uh, because it's just I have them building up and building up and I just really wanted to, to pray for you guys before the, the holidays hit and, and I got things to do 
So just ask um, for the Lord's uh, blessing upon each and every one of us uh, in this season of joy. As the Mayan stuff prophesied an end unto another beginning, I declare that's the end of Satan's wool over the eyes of the children of, of Jesus. That as that that's the end uh, of of Satan's wool over our eyes in that here mm -hmm. comes uh, the children of God, uh, the ones that are coming to move in greater works. Here we come, world, here we come, watch out. So I just thank and praise the Lord and thank you, Jesus, mm -hmm. for um, everything that uh, you are doing. Uh, I'm glad I'm glad some of you were able to look in here. I still have to uh, figure out how to do group chat or whatever and, and figure out if I want to do this this way. Maybe I want to keep it sticky. -am. I don't know. But uh, anyhow, I just really wanted to do this. And thank you, and God bless you. Have a wonderful, very Merry Christmas. I love you guys, and uh, God bless.